Welcome to Jamarki News for Wednesday, March 28th. I'm your host, Jay Ostrom. In today's news, a new website lets people become Twitter celebrities for a day. A study shows that people trust CEOs who tweet, and Ghana uses social media to raise voter awareness. A new website is giving people the chance to speak to the masses. The site called Fame is running an ongoing contest where for a day, they give winners control of their expansive Twitter following. These followers are comprised of the other entrants in the contest. Each day, they will choose a new Twitter star from this pool. As of now, Fame has control of a little over 3,000 followers, but they hope to have over a million followers soon. Social media has become an outlet and a source of peer opinion, especially in the retail market. No matter how successful Fame ends up becoming, it, is, it shows that the importance of peer opinion is rising, and marketers need to take note and listen. A new study by BrandFrog, a social media branding company, shows that 82% of people have more trust in CEOs who communicate their company's mission and values through social media. The study also showed that 71% of people found that a CEO who tweets boosts their company image. Tweeting is an inexpensive and effective way for CEOs to show personality and engage target markets. Brand personality is an imperative, is imperative when connecting to consumers. And as the figurehead of a company, the voice of the CEO has the most influence in shaping that overall brand. The Ghana government has social plans for their upcoming general elections. They are using biometric voter registration, that's uh, scanning the fingertips as a form of identification for the first time, and are relying on social media to spread awareness. Other African countries have successfully used biometric methods to identify voters. Ghana's social media campaign called Ghana Decides is using Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Flickr to promote voter registration. Since the country has limited internet access, they will be putting out a offline press release as well. Officials hope that those with social media accounts, about one-fifth of the entire population, will spread the word to those that do not. If Ghana Decides is successful, the country hopes to adopt a social, a social media platform as a medium to promote social and economic improvement. Thank you.